Are you Evelyn Hansen? I'm Evelyn Hansen. This is Sky. We've been best friends since the day we've met. You never did tell me what happened to your parents. They were murdered. Except my sister. Axton, the ruler of hell. Took my sister? Why? I'm Oliver, and this is Chester. We trained them for six months. Then, they need to be ready. Ready for what? We're supposed to lead the apocalypse. I'm half angel, and she's half demon. Demons? They possess other bodies and do horrible things. Angels? You said that a friend told you where we were. Who was that? Dimitri. You're the big guy in charge. Evelyn has a guardian angel? Originally, you were supposed to get killed, Evelyn. Why wasn't I? You can thank your adorable angel from above. What do we do now? We make a plan. A plan to do what exactly? To kill Axton. Avery, what are you doing? Do you really think I even remember you? You manipulating bitch! Chester? Chester! Oh, don't worry. He's not dead. I thought maybe I should just kill you like how it was originally supposed to be. But then I got a better idea. Break you. I'm not going to let you die, Sky. I can't live with that. Then I just won't die. Make her happy. Make her smile again. You have my word. Keep your promise. Evelyn?
Jess. What are you doing here? I need to ask for a favor. I thought you owed me. Yeah, sorry about that. Where's your blonde girl? Oh, damn. That's kind of why I'm here. I'm so sorry, Evelyn. Yeah. Me too. Well, what do you need me to do? I need you to kill me. Are you serious? Yes. No way. I'm not killing you. Please, Jess. Some awful things must have gone down since last time we met. Awful is an understatement. I can't kill you, Evelyn. I can't live with this, Jess. She's dead because of me. Everyone around me dies, so I might as well join them. I didn't know Sky very much. But I know she wouldn't want you to do this. I can't. Just... Just please. This isn't living. Well, why do I have to kill you? Because I'm too scared to do this alone. Damn it. I'll do it. Thank you. Do you mind me asking how she... You know. The ruler of hell shot her. The actual ruler of hell? All because we trusted my sister. Well, that's reasonable. I mean, she was your sister. Yeah. My sister, who was also half-demon. What? Who the hell are you? I don't even know anymore. How do you want to do this? However you want to. It's your death, not mine. Fine. Then just... Stab me. Right in the heart. Are you sure about this? Just do it. Then get out of here so you're not a suspect when someone finds me. Is this heaven or hell? The fact that you have to ask... is upsetting. Who are you? Layla. I'm an angel. Specifically your protector. So, let me guess. I'm not allowed to die. No. Why the hell not? Well, according to the other angels, 
Because we still need you to defeat Axton and Avery. <laughs> of course. But for me, it's because I made a promise. And I don't break promises. What promise? A promise to Skye. I promised her you would smile again someday. Why don't you just revive her? Then you won't have to worry about- That's strictly against the rules. And besides, don't you want her to be happy and at peace? Where are we? A hotel in Massachusetts. Why? They're going to train you here. Like hell. I don't trust you. Or anyone else for that matter. But... I'm your protector. My own sister betrayed me. You expect me to trust someone who has never been in my life until a few minutes ago? Don't go thinking I'm in your life. This is a one-time thing. What? Why? Speaking with your protector is forbidden. I'm taking a huge risk talking to you right now. Again, why? Because centuries ago, an angel somehow began feeling emotion for his protectant. He betrayed heaven for his human. What happened to him? He became a human for his lover. We never found him. So you can't talk to me because heaven's afraid you'll turn against them or something? It's not unlikely for angels in my... position. Well, what about your promise to Skye? I will be sure someone else comes into your life and makes you happy. Don't worry. Are you serious? Yes. I'm not letting anyone come near me. Especially if they're a setup. How am I an exception? Because honestly, I don't care about you. You're supposed to be my protector. But you obviously failed. You let Axton break me. Fine. I'll meet you outside tomorrow at 2 o'clock. For you.